Hey guys, Sketch here. Um, most people know me from music type stuff, but what I like to do when I'm not doing that is build electric bikes. In this series, what I'm going to be doing is following the conversion of this bike here, which is a, uh, a CRF 250X. It's road registerable, but at the moment it's set up like a motocross bike. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be converting all of this into a supermoto style bike with 17 inch wheels etc but we're going to do it a little bit differently instead of this motor here which is invisible we are going to put an electric motor a battery pack a controller and we're going to be converting this entire 250 to a supermoto totally electric and hopefully one that performs really quite well so um, first thing we've got to do is we've got to start stripping it down at the moment we've got to get in there we've jumped the gun just a little bit we've already got the motor out we need to get rid of all the fairings the radiators the air box pretty much everything unnecessary strip the whole bike down and start re rebuilding it back up as fully electric so uh, a lot of people think electric it doesn't really have the guts that petrol does but this little bike here has been outperforming a lot of petrol bikes as it is and it's still built on a pushy frame so we're upgrading from this raptor to this supermoto conversion uh, here's another one that's kind of underway another push bike conversion there's the mxus there but this video is going to focus on building this motorbike up into a supermoto so I actually, I've jumped the gun just a little bit already and I've started pulling some stuff off. So I'm just going to go through and take away all the stuff we don't need for now for this step. First step is to get it down, broken down as, as much as possible so we can start rebuilding it back up. We uh, don't need fairings, don't need a seat, don't need a fuel tank. That's getting totally out of here we don't need radiator we don't need uh, an air box because we've got no internal combustion we don't need this air box we will eventually need to keep this this support airbox. We need this later to put a seat back on, and we're going to keep pulling this down until we've got nothing. Then we're going to work out where our motor's going. We've got a pretty decent electric motor. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about that one uh, later. We're going to work out where we're going to mount our batteries, maybe down here either side, keep the center of gravity quite low. We need to have at least 32 amp hours to get the range that we want to do, but this is going to be predominantly track but road registered for a super motor. So we're going to have batteries down here, batteries are down the front of this um, and we're going to be building a cage around our motor and line it back up with this chain line here to continue to keep the existing uh, drivetrain set up. This bike is about 110 kilos from the factory wet with oil and fuel and stuff uh, as is at the moment with the seat on it. We've got it down to 65 kilos that gives us about 50 kilos of motor and battery we can put back in and controller before we are above stock weight so we want to keep it down below that or as close to that as possible but i think it's achievable and stock these come out with around 35 horsepower we're going to be putting up to 50 kilowatts out of this setup and uh hopefully we're about double the stock power if not more um from the 250 so it's a good build, I think it's gonna be good. All this needs to be replaced. Um, this is all the shonky stock stuff we're gonna put 
some better shit on it. This was the donor bike. Uh, but it looks like it's going to get a new lease on life and come into the future. At 50 kilowatts, this thing is going to be an absolute beast, especially supermoto once we do the conversion.